Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be transferring some pictures and videos to your computer using Canon Utility. Now, right down here, I'm using Canon Utility 2. However, there's number three out there that you guys can download if this is not working for you. So here it is. And this is the way that it's supposed to pop up. Now, we are in the latest Mac OS, so don't worry about that. If you guys are having problems, once again, just going to Canon website. So this is the legit canon.com website and from here download the driver or the new canon utility okay so any software you guys want to download it's free and you can download it right here from canon.com anyways we're just gonna select so we're gonna see all these options now they're supposed to highlight like so so that means they're all working if one of them it's not then there might be a problem if you guys have a camera that has wi-fi for example sometimes it does get in the way so it's best to turn that off before you guys can actually download stuff or even remote shooting or anything like that. So I'm gonna select and download images. After I select that, this is supposed to load up. All your images plus any videos that you guys took, it doesn't really matter. Now I take all my pictures in raw, so that's why it says raw on the side, and I can just select the ones that I want to just import by pressing right here. So if I zoom in, I can show you where I'm clicking. So I'm clicking right here, giving this a check mark. And later on, once I'm done this, I can just select to import. So that means download down here below in the left hand corner, you guys will see download. If you guys wanna do this the fast way, yes, there's a fast way. You can just press Command A, that's for Mac, so just select everything. And then that's everything has been selected. That's Command A, or you guys can do it the old fashioned way, which is just to go up here on the menu and go to edit. And from here, just go on to select images, select all. Now let's say you guys want to import some pictures but not all of them. So right now what I can do is press shift. I'm gonna press right here. And then see this check mark that comes up? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See this? Just press on it. Then I'm gonna go to my last picture down here. I'm gonna hold shift, press on it check mark and there we go I just check marked all these guys so that's the fast way to select a bunch of pictures but not all of them from there just like I told you we will go down here where it says download that is the bottom left hand side I'm just gonna press download then we should see this message coming up which is gonna ask you where do you guys want to download this to well I usually do my desktop into a folder I'm gonna choose destination folder in this case everything looks good press ok i'm gonna press ok once again and we're gonna start downloading everything so this includes pictures videos and this preview should be coming up anyways guys once you're done this i'm gonna see the folder in my desktop i can open that up mess around with those raw images transfer them whatever i want to do right anyways that would be it for this video tutorial if you have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.